Quakers in Annapolis are putting the finishing touches on a $63 billion state budget. They did that last night. So what does that mean for Maryland schools and roads? Well, people in the Hagerstown area share their thoughts with our Stephen Cohen. For a while last night, it looked as if the Maryland General Assembly might not reach a budget deal, but it has. And folks here in Hagerstown wonder if it's going to help their schools and roads. $4 billion over the next 10 years is going to schools. Elizabeth Henderson would like to see more spending on behavioral health to complement classroom learning. I think it would be an asset if they had more preventative programs. Um, Obviously more in the addictions field, more counseling for kids, um, a safe place for them to go. And grandparent Chauncey Baylor thinks character building should get as much billing as reading, math, and science. And this next generation coming up, they're going to be our future. And it just seems like some things nowadays have just gotten away from the core values that we've always had. As for all that traffic congestion on I-81. One day it took me five hours to get to work because of an accident. There's not enough um, there's not enough off-roads, there's not enough solutions. If there's an accident, someone is stuck. Well, I travel it a lot and a lot. Uh, the congestion is Sometimes it's pretty bad, especially during rush hour. The governor is expected to sign the budget as early as next week. Reporting from Hagerstown, Stephen Cohen, DC News Now.